Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the iPhone's battery, a problem a lot of people have, battery draining really fast. There are a lot of things that might cause that, but of course there are things that you can do in order to make sure that you maybe fix that problem or minimize it as much as you can. So in this video, I will show you guys 25 different tips and tricks that will help you fix the battery drain on your iPhone. If your iPhone's battery is draining really fast, the first thing you should do is make sure that you have your device updated. Go to settings, general, and then go to software update and always make sure that you have your device up to date. Now, sometimes battery drains may be caused by a software update. So always, of course, Apple is releasing new software updates to fix those problems. So make sure that you keep your device updated all the time. You can also go to automatic updates and enable both of these buttons. So everything will be done automatically and you don't have to bother whether you have your device updated or not to the latest version. And the second thing, don't install iOS betas. Right here you can see I have iOS 14.5, which right now is on beta one, but don't do that. If you have one device, your daily device, don't install a beta because most of the times betas will, ha will have problems with battery. Of course, that's why they're on beta stages. So always make sure that you wait until the final release to install a software update on your device. Battery might be drained by apps as well. So when you go to your settings, you go to the battery section here, you will find a list of all the different apps that have used the battery of your iPhone. Now at the top, you will find apps that you use the most. Now, of course, if you see an app there, like in this case here, I have Instagram and I use it quite a lot. That doesn't mean that it is draining the battery of my iPhone. I just use it a lot. So if you tap right there, show activity, it will show you how much hours and minutes you have spent on that app. If you see there an app that you have spent less time, but it has consumed quite a lot of battery, then that means that that app is actually draining the battery of your iPhone. So it's better to go ahead and remove that from your device and find a replacement for that app. One thing that has been confirmed to improve battery life on the iPhone is using dark mode that on devices with OLED displays. So if you have a newer device with an OLED display, that means that anywhere on the screen where it's like black, you can see right there, these icons, that means that that part of the screen is actually turned off. The pixels are turned off, so it's using less battery. Now you go to settings and go to display and brightness and make sure you have set here dark mode, at least on automatic if you don't wanna use it all the time. Very important also is the brightness of the screen. If you have your screen brightness turned all the way up all the time, that means the battery will drain really, really fast. Always make sure that you use auto brightness. You can check that by going to accessibility, display and text size, and then just scroll down. Here you have auto brightness. Make sure you always have this turned on. Now with the release of iOS 14, there are some new features that Apple has added, which are really cool but most of them will quite drain the battery of your iPhone. One of them can be found under accessibility and is right here is sound recognition. Now, if you don't want to use this, you don't need sound recognition, make sure you have turned this off. Basically, sound recognition will be listening for sounds and alert you if it hurts one of those sounds. If you don't actually need that, make sure you go ahead and keep that turned off. Now the same goes, goes here for voice control. So you will have voice control and that is a cool feature that lets you control your iPhone using your voice. But of course it will also drain battery. So always make sure that you turn off these features that you will probably never use. If you have an older device, that means that all the different animations and the motions of iOS will require quite a lot of battery. On all the devices, this will have quite a big impact. So make sure you go to settings, go to accessibility, and under motion here, you will be able to enable reduce motion. That will basically just reduce all the different like cool animations of iOS, but will help your device have better battery life. Another feature that will probably use a lot of battery is called rise to wake. It just wakes up the screen of your iPhone whenever you pick it up from your pocket 
or from a table. You go ahead and go to display and brightness and here's rise to weight. Now, if you don't really need that feature, go ahead and turn that off. Now, all of these features that need to be on standby, always waiting for your command or your motions, they always require quite a lot of battery. So make sure you go ahead and turn it off from here. A big impact on battery life is also made by location services. Location services require quite a lot of battery. If you go to privacy, you will find location services right here. Now I see a lot of people keep this on all the time. I only turn on location services when I need them and I keep them completely off most of the time. But if you don't wanna do that, of course, you can go ahead and check the list of your apps right here and choose for which apps you want to allow location services. Now, basically having this turned on for all of your apps will have a big impact on the battery life of your device. The same goes here for system services. You will find all kinds of different system services here that will use your location and of course, battery life as well, like location-based suggestions. You will have here setting time zones. You will have like all like different services here that you can completely turn off. And of course, improve maps, improve analytics right here. You can go ahead and turn them off completely. Of course, Apple probably will improve them by themselves. And of course, you will also have here different things like compass calibration. The one thing that I require you to leave on all the time here is emergency calls and SOS. And of course, find my iPhone. Battery drain might be caused by the Bluetooth of your device as well. There are apps that will actually use the Bluetooth of your device. And those can be found under the privacy section on the settings app. When you go to privacy and go to Bluetooth, you will find here a list of all the different apps that are using the Bluetooth of your device and you have allowed access to that. You will find the list here and of course you can go ahead and turn that off from here. If you're just basically having huge battery drains and you know, don't know where that is coming from, try turning off right here apps that are using the Bluetooth of your device. Now, when it comes to battery life, a huge impact is made by notifications. Having notifications turned on for most of the apps will drain the battery of your iPhone really, really fast. You can manage that, of course, by going to the notification settings right here. You will have the list of your apps. Make sure you go ahead and turn off notifications for a lot of apps. The apps that you don't really need notifications from, go ahead and turn them off. Right here, you can see a big list of apps and I don't really have that many apps installed on my device right now. So go ahead and turn them off for games, apps that you don't really need to have notifications on. Make sure you go ahead and go to each of them and just completely turn off the notifications. Now, since the release of iOS 14, everyone has been going crazy about the new home screen widgets of iOS 14. Thought thousands of apps that have iOS 14 home screen widgets and of course they're cool but don't keep a lot of them on the screen of your iPhone. Make sure you only keep the ones that you need, you actually use and go ahead and disable the other ones. Also check on the side here and see if you have any widgets that you didn't see here that are enabled and make sure you turn them off as well. Now, of course, it's always recommended that you use optimized battery charging. You go to battery under settings, go to battery health and enable optimized battery charging. This will be good for the lifespan of the battery of your iPhone. Of course, it will have a great impact. You can also go to accessibility here and here we'll find Siri. If you go to Siri, you have a button to enable always hey. I won't say the word completely, but basically what it does is that it will listen for that phrase, even though your iPhone might be facing down or covered or on your pocket anywhere, always will be listening for that phrase. Of course, that will completely drain the battery of your iPhone. It's always aware, always listen for your sound and that requires a lot of battery. Another thing I suggest you do is completely turn off the Bluetooth if you don't need it. Go to settings, completely turn it off from here. Now leaving the Bluetooth on, it will always be scanning for different devices nearby to connect that will require a lot of battery. 
Another thing here that you can disable is found under privacy and it is motion and fitness. And right here we'll have fitness tracking. Basically, this tracks your body, your movement and all that. Of course, this is required by the fitness apps. So if you don't really use that, make sure to go ahead and turn that off. Another thing you can do in order to have more battery life when you need it is go to settings, go to app store and make sure you have disabled the auto updates from here so that you only update or download your apps when you have more battery and not when your device is on low battery. Another thing you should do is always make sure that you have your apps up to date because that probably will fix a lot of the apps bugs and they will require less battery. And when it comes to apps, make sure that you don't actually close the apps from the app switcher. A lot of people do that all the time. It's a habit of mine. I do that always. I just always close all the apps from the background, but that is a bad thing because that requires more CPU power and battery to relaunch the app every time you want to use it. So, so that's really, really bad. Another thing you should do is make sure that you use Wi-Fi as much as you can not cellular data. Cellular data requires more battery than Wi-Fi, so make sure you do that and don't leave your personal hotspot on all the time because that will drain battery as well. And last but not least, make sure that you use airplane mode as much as you can. And last but not least, when you're on some place that you have bad coverage, bad cellular coverage, make sure that you turn on airplane mode. Now, if you go like, let's say camping or you go hiking somewhere, you know that there's bad reception, your iPhone will be trying to connect all the time to the seller and that will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. So make sure on those cases, you turn on airplane mode. So that is basically it for this video, guys. These are 25 tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life of your iPhone and probably fix battery drain issues on your iPhone. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.